We're opening up the newest Pokemon card set, Crown Zenith, today. Which includes two collection boxes and an Elite Trainer box. But first, I got two Elite Trainer boxes going to two of y'all at home. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know. Are you more excited for Crown Zenith? or the upcoming Scarlet and Violet Pokemon TCG set. Let's begin with the first product, a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. Now, this is just a subset, but what a subset it is with what we'll see very, very shortly. Not only does these things come with packs, but the actual pamphlet itself has, and I'll block my handsome face. You can see there are the cards from the God Pack that I pulled. Now they're in English. We also have the golden cards, which I also pulled in the Japanese set in lots in lots of other ultra rare cards for this absolutely incredible set. The Elite Trainer Box also comes with the following. It looks like we got some sleeves, Lucario sleeves, golden side for those. Here is the actual code. It also comes with this, uh, just like the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Boxes. Let me see if I could show you all that a bit better. The Lucario V-Star full art card. That's beautiful. Also, of course, comes with packs. Looks like 10 of them. A Brick of Energy, everybody's favorite. We got the markers, which haven't changed. We got the actual dice, which are different. They're not metal or anything, but you know, they have that goldish type of color. We also have the damage counters on the inside. And last but not least, we have the different type of markers. It's all Lucario, all Lucario. Let's take a look and begin opening up Crown Zenith. As you saw in the pamphlet, the book itself, there are lots and lots of amazing cards to get. Let's do a little guess the energy. I haven't really seen much of this set to be completely honest. So the book and seeing the cards, this and right now, this will be my first time checking out what the set has to offer. Look at that Tangela, love it. Ball toy, a Galarian Meowth. I'll take it, that's the cutest you're ever gonna see that Pokemon. Energy Retrieval, a beautiful Scyther Reverse, and a Zacian V. Now, since this is a subset, I am gonna be curious if this actually has a holographic guaranteed or not on the inside of every single pack. Psychic Energy, obviously, we're gonna find out right now. But we got this Elite Trainer Box, which has 10 packs. I'm gonna open up those collection boxes as soon as we're done with this Elite Trainer Box. But definitely want to get it all in. A lovely Rare Candy Reverse and a Hatterene V. So that's two Ultra Rares in a row. I don't think it would be holographic or Ultra Rares and above, would it? Four cards, Psychic Energy. Now, I also just got eye surgery yesterday, so I apologize if I'm a little bit more off or tired than usual. So as we get our first Radiant, a Radiant Eternatus, and well, there we go. So we got a Radiant, but a non-holographic. So I'll take that, of course, as every single pack has so far gotten some sort of hit. Psychic Energy, and away we go with these. Luxio, let me just make sure I could get that in focus for y'all. Digging Duo, a beautiful Shaman. I love the artwork of that specific one. Sunkern, a Bidoof, Kofifi, a Salad, Purloin, Crocorock, and a Zara Aura. So I don't think there was actually anything in that specific pack. So. I guess maybe there goes the everything in every single pack type of thing. Leaf energy, no guesses of the energy. There's a lovely rare candy, which we've seen before. There's Pokeball Trainer, Corefish, Oddish, Seal, Cricketot, and there we go. We have one, I guess, is if this, this is how they're gonna do it. Oh, and look at that. Whoa, look at that. That's a energy card, but it's different than like a secret rare from one before. And this is one of the God cards. So what a pack that is. 
and what a fun set that this is gonna be. Uh, hopefully the cards for like the, like, you know, there's so many ultra rares, fighting energy, that it will take a while to actually try to collect if you wanna pull it from the packs itself, which I try to do. All of the cards, as we have a beautiful uh, Deoxys V-Star. Pulled that in Japanese before, and we have an Executor. So a beautiful, look at that one, my goodness. Uh, Deoxys Ultra Rare V-Star. Lots of opportunities here. Leaf Energy. Basing off of the book, we have the Arceus and the other golden cards, which would be very cool. They all, they all form a picture when you put them together. So let's see if we can at least get one of those today. There was nothing in that specific pack. So looks like we're not guaranteed something in every single pack, but it still looks like the pull rates, Psychic Energy, are fairly good for this specific set. Friends of Sinnoh. Now, I, I hope there's that full art trainer card that's in this set that shows all of them together as we have a, a the Justin Biebs. Very nice card and a Hoopa. I feel like we've seen that holographic before several times. We have two more packs of the Elite Trainer Box. And uh, then, as I almost showed you these cards, Fire Energy. Don't want to show you the Guess the Energies yet. And then we're going to get into the actual collection boxes and see what comes on those. Those are all the products that are currently out. Uh, EVV. Very nice. Saw a promotion for that card online and it was really cool to see that specific one. So let's get into the final pack of the ETB, see if we can get a little last pack magic. But so far, uh, Metal Energy, finally, Pat's on back. We have done an absolutely uh, great job of getting some nice pulls to showcase today for the newest set, Crown Zenith. Skrelp, Wulu, Helioptile, Friends of the Hisuian region, and a Yan Mega non-holographic. Getting into the next box. All of it in its splendor. The boxes do look very, very majestic with the, uh, as I tear it apart, with the golden outline on it. Let's take a look. Obviously, it comes with four Crown Zenith packs. There is the Reggie Drago full art jumbo card, or regular ultra rare, excuse me. And then, Let's get the smaller version, awkwardly holding that out for y'all, if it's not getting in focus for y'all. There's the ultra rare version of it. There's the code of it. And last but not least, there is the Regilecki, which is the other collection box, I believe. So four packs in this specific box, and then we'll check out the next one. Let's see if we can keep it going with Electric Energy. Nothing there, Crushing Hanner, Hammer, Purloin, Skrelp, Helioptile, another one of the god cards, a Swablu, and an Oranguru, non-holographic. So we got one of, we got two out of what I believe is nine, but probably want to go for that Pikachu one. Fighting Energy would be the absolute number one one that I would like to pull. Solrock, Wulu, Shinx, The Pan, Snow Run, Rock. Is that a lost vacuum and Simisir V? So another regular ultra rare, but let us continue with psychic energy and away we go. Graveler. So, so far, uh, it's, it should be a pretty fun set to open up with just so many beautiful cards to get. As we get our first signature card, a hop, and you can see, obviously, it's just printed on the card. I think it would be really cool if they were like, actually sat there and signed a bunch, but then it would be, with so many of these packs printed, it would make it impossible. I know uh, Fighting Energy, the old Dragon Ball card game, actually had the voice actors for the Japanese show sign cards way back when, and I pulled one of the kids trunks one, which was really cool, but obviously they couldn't do that for the specific one. But we have the next box. The, I think it's the Regilecki box. Let's get into it try to get to it with with haste so we can see i got more packs to open up actually after these four packs but just so you can see the actual jumbo card there we go and then getting into the actual smaller one right there let me make sure that's focused for y'all the code and then the actually they switch it up now it's a holographic reggie drago so let's get into these four packs 
And I do have more packs to open after this because I want to try to showcase Leaf Energy as many cards as possible for y'all today. So sit back, relax. Let's see if we can continue as we get two Shinxes in a row in a Luxray. Let's see if we can continue getting some more pulls to showcase today. Uh, as far as fighting energy, as uh, like like I said before, I usually like going into sets, even mini sets, sets uh, pretty blind as far as not knowing like the best cards. As we get a Rayquaza V Star, very nice. Uh, but obviously, you know, we saw the booklet. Really cool to see some of the what you know your could be your own personal favorite metal energy favorite cards are. So going to be very excited to see as we get something in this one for sure. What we can get for the rest of the packs in today's opening, a double and a Zara Aura V. I feel like I've seen that Zara Aura before, but uh, in any case, let's continue. Got more packs coming up. Fighting Energy for this specific one. Rare Candy again. Energies, energy, lots of energies today. Riolu, a hop. There's the reverse version of it signed and another Eevee. So continuing right on, I got more packs to open up today, but yeah, I had a, not LASIK surgery because I didn't qualify for it, water energy, but yesterday I had ICL surgery, which basically they put a lens. Oh, there's something shiny in this one. They put a lens in your eye. I only did it to my right eye, wink. Next week is my left eye. So as we get a beautiful reverse water energy and a, well, just a V-Star, but a Simisir V-Star. But uh, yeah, so so far, uh, I, you know, I can see out of the eye, but I whenever I see lights and stuff, fire energy, I do have like a halo effect that still goes on. It's supposed to go away. I don't know about y'all at home who has had LASIK, obviously, as we get a beautiful, is that a Mew? Wow, look at that. And there's something behind it. A Mewtwo. Well, that's appropriate. A cool looking holographic Mewtwo and a Mew itself. Not bad. It's like any specific pack could just have absolute crazy cards on the inside, which will truly make this set water energy very, very fun to open. Sorry, my back is hurt. I'm old. My back is hurting opening up. This is not my usual card setup area. It's just what I could do with uh, trying to, you know, get a new set and open it up for y'all and go from here. Our first V-Star marker. So I, we haven't pulled any so far in this entire opening. Another rare candy. Rock Ruff, Tangula, Bull Toy, Croc Rock, and a, wow. It's weird when you open up a pack and you don't get like anything on the inside. It seems like fire energy every single pack we're like getting something on the inside but let's see Emolga, Yanma, Cricketot, Chatot, Zara Aura, and a Tauros falling but I just feel like it's going to be fairly difficult to get a master set in this set fighting energy obviously unless you buy individual cards or just trade with friends and stuff which is obviously the Fun and easier route to do as we get a Zashi in a reverse rare. And, and is that an Enamorous, not a holographic. For a second, I was like, it looked like an Eternatus, but I'm like, no, nah, we pulled the Radiant one already. Water Energy, hoping to get some more great pulls from the packs that we got today. Looks like there's something at the back of this specific pack. There is a Toxtricity card, look at that. And a Stoutland V. So we got a little bit of a perfect pack there. Let's see if we can keep the good times going. Oops, I just went straight for this one. Sorry about that, guys. As we have a Nessa. It's an autograph card. I like that signature better than the hop signature. Sorry, I can't, can't, I, I can't talk myself. Don't forget, guys, two elite trainer boxes. Go into two of y'all at home. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video and let me know if you're excited about this set, Crown Zenith or Scarlet and Violet, which uh, I mean, so far, this has been really, really fun to open up this specific set. Let's go with Psychic Energy and see what we can do in this specific pack. Lost Vacuum, Energy Search, Scyther, Riolu, Young. Oh, a beautiful full art, Sharon's Care. Look at that one. And a Life Art. But... Hey, is that, that's gotta be uh, the Lipard and 
the Charon, and sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name incorrectly, but the Charon's Care card, Leaf Energy, in the Lipard, and there was a Lipard in the actual card itself. I wonder, just like the Mew and Mewtwo card, if that's meant to be. The Reverse Entei in a Bay. Look at that signature. Very cool signature there for our Bay. All right, moving on to the next pack. Plenty of packs to go in today's Crown Zenith opening water energy. I will try to say more of the energies as well, but let's see what we can do. Scyther, Pokeball, Young Goose, the Friends card again. It's like the show, Friends. Hey, I can't, I, I'm, I'm losing on the energy here, guys. You gotta do some, I was gonna guess fire, but I didn't say it so it doesn't count. Uh, anyway, I got, you gotta give me the courtesy laugh there, at least just for today. Looks like there's a something in this one, a Radiant Charizard. So we got a shiny Charizard, very nice, and a Zacian V-Star. So there looks like a Charizard has been pulled. I definitely like this specific artwork for it, Leaf Energy. I like the artwork for this Charizard a lot. So I don't know if there's any other crazy Charizard cards in the set, but let's see if we can find out for y'all. Dubwill and a Tangrowth. So nothing too crazy with that specific one. Moving on, four cards, Leaf Energy, and away we go. Graveler, Pokemon, Coughing, Grubs, Purloin, a beautiful Deoxys. Look at that one, an Orbital hovering above it, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and a Leafeon. Getting into the next pack. Okay, what have I not said? Uh, water Energy? I haven't said Dark Energy, I think. Let's get that in focus, though. All right, Ultra Ball, Sunkern, Coughing, Oddish, Salad, Energy, Zerud, reverse rare, most likely, and a, look at that Snorlax. Oh, that's such a cool looking card. And it looks like some Fruit Loops around it are the actual flowers. Uh, no guess the energy with this specific one. So let's get right into it and see. So as far as the commons and uncommons and stuff, uh, they're okay. Our, oh, whoa, hold on a sec. We got a Comfy, the next God card to pull, and another Zero Aura. So. We're definitely getting several of the God cards right now, and that's just what I'm calling them, Leaf Energy, because that's how you were only able to pull them in the Japanese pack, which if you haven't seen that video on my channel, it's I Pulled a God Pack, I would definitely go recommend it. Very cool. That was the only way to get those cards in Japanese was by getting all of them in one single pack. I've never pulled a God Pack before, so that was the first time and they do look absolutely beautiful, Leaf Energy. And I also didn't mention it as well. See the, the yellow border around the card? I believe this is gonna be the last set. The last Sword and Shield set, obviously, but also just the last set in general before uh, Scarlet and Violet, as we have a full art. Which one's that? It's the Adaman. Full art trailer. Trailer. One of those days, huh? Anyway, there's the full art. Uh, what was I saying? But uh, now I'm completely forgetting what I was saying. But uh, fighting energy. Whatever I was saying, let's just continue this opening. Is it not in focus? Hopefully it is. Here we go. Energy retrieval. Shinx. Larvesta. Pawn. Whalmer. Reverse metal energy. And another hoop. There it is. Holographic card. Oh, I really wish I remember what I was saying. Psychic energy. Obviously, y'all have the power at home to do such a thing. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I was talking about like the commons and uncommons and stuff. They're not like the craziest ones. And oh, I know what I was talking about, the border. Scarlet and Violet's gonna have the silver borders on the cards now, which is what the Japanese cards have, which is obviously uh, fighting energy. Yeah, finally, pass on back. All right, uh, which is probably easier to print money-wise. Uh, going, you know, from grayscale compared to yellow for ink purposes. As we have a beautiful, it's a Simiseer and a Hatterene V. Look at that. Is that Nogano, I believe. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, there's so many more to pull in this set. Crown Zenith, uh, Dark Energy. There, I said it. Pat's on back. Is that two in a row? Anyway. 
Uh, so it's gonna be, you know, take it all in. Last time, yellow iconic borders. As we got a Manaphy card and a Waylord. So that was not one of the God cards, the Manaphy, but I feel like that was a more common one in the Japanese set, V-Star Universe, Psychic Energy. Well, there goes the streak for the guesses of the energies, which is okay. Let's see what we can do in this pack. Hopefully we can get uh, a couple more good pulls. Still got packs to go, but I will say Leaf Energy. And here we go. And maybe get one of those friends card. I'll have to take a look at the pamphlet a bit longer. Radiant Nintendo GameCube and a Lipard. So probably have pulled all of the Radiants by now. Maybe, well, maybe like one more, but really cool to at least see those. Psychic Energy. And continuing on, Gloom, Yanma, Palm, Cricket, A, Dunsparce, and Tangra. So there is that one. Continuing on, but as soon as you're done watching this specific video, I've been opening up older packs recently. Uh, heavy first edition base set cards, EX Deoxys, first edition Neo Destiny, Neo Genesis. If you haven't gone and seen those videos, I would highly suggest you do as soon as you're done watching this one. Or if you haven't seen my top 10 best pulls of 2022, definitely go check out that video. Leap Energy, very nice, pats on back. That video is actually linked in the description, so you can go click on that one if you want, or just click on that I. Something's in this pack, hopefully it's another type of Glaceon Showcase and uh, bottom of yours. Jeez, all right. Or kicking us in the face. I'll let y'all be the decider of that one. All right, let's go with Fire Energy, and away we go. Lost Vacuum, Duo, The Beebs, well, I guess that's Baidu, Grubbin, and Yan Mega. Nothing in that specific one. Moving on, all of the pack art is just that one Zacian Psychic Energy pack art. So just because it's a subset, I guess they usually just use the same. Well, not all the time, but okay. Just, I take that back. As we get a Diancy, very nice. And Leon, we have, the, I need to sign this card. I need to sign this card. Very cool, Leon and Hop. All right. Moving on, uh, four cards, Psychic Energy, very nice, Pat's on back, and away we go, I think there's something in this pack, guys, I think there's something, oh, and it's a beautiful Glaceon in the snow, and, oh, it's an upside down Reggie, Reggie Gigas, so look at that, how about that for a pack? All right, guys, I'm going to stop it here, but go click on the video right above me now. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see y'all in the next video.